Hello, you are welcome to I Can Make It Today. This is another day that God has made. We we'll rejoice and be glad in it. You are welcome to I Can Make It. Thank God you are always tuning in to share thought with us on this journey to success. I call it journey to success because life, life is made for the living. And this journey, you will succeed. I believe you can make it. You are welcome. But to with me this morning this with uh, with Brother Callistos. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Always sir. coming to share thoughts. Yes, you sir. look nice, man. Thank you. You too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you so much. I want to read something that I wrote here. I wrote a lot of things down here. I want to read this to you. Learn that everybody is equal. Don't wish to be like others. God did not make a mistake for creating you. You are a unique person. So I strongly believe that you can make it. Don't sit down there and wish you were somebody else. No. Appreciate who you are. Appreciate what you can become. Celebrate others, but don't lose your originality. You can make it. Yes, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you me. can make it. Don't yeah. lose your originality. Man. You are original. Yeah. You are beautifully and you are wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. All right. Celebrate your make. Celebrate the talents that you have celebrate yourself celebrate the god that created you hello good morning and welcome again how are you doing today we know that you're always doing well because that's why we're here our objective here is to make sure that you are moving forward and that you are making it in life welcome again as we continue our series on better living and better life mm. we said that life is very sweet and life can be very simple I mean, life can go well for you if you follow certain patterns. Sometimes people cry, people, you know, um, complain and say life is very difficult for them. Life is, you know, very too hard, you know, on them. Sometimes it is because of the choices they are making. Mm. The choices maybe, you know, is not the right one. Sometimes it's even the wrong decision, you know, that they are making. Sometimes and most times, you know, the, the choices are informed from what people are hearing because what you hear is very important. What goes into you is very, very important. Listen to this. If your hearing is good, then your thinking will be good. Mm. If your thinking is good, your feeling will be good. And if your feeling is good, I tell you, your acting will also be good. good. You know, but if you have it the other way around, sorry. But that's why we're here. That's why we're here today to encourage you that you can live life well. Life can be sweet, you know, for you. And so as we continue today with some of our nuggets, we want to tell you how you can make life really better, really, really good. If life is good for you today, you can even make it better. And if life is better, you can make it best. All right. So we want to welcome you again today as we feed you with a few nuggets and we say, please follow these things and you will move forward all right so last time we talked about we said um um we, we said stay silent when you feel like complaining all right we talked about that mm. stay silent when you feel like complaining because sometimes you may get angry when you get angry you know that outburst can cost you your job that outburst can cost you your relationship that outburst can even cost you your marriage you know and so we said just remain silent, you know, when you are angry, remain silent. When you feel like complaining, just keep quiet. And sometimes we will say, walk away. All right? Last time again, we said, we said, when you feel like being selfish, we say, serve others. We're talking about service. Service is a very, very strong virtue. I mean, very, very, I mean, I mean, it's, it's very powerful. When you serve, for every service, for every labor, there must be profit. You cannot serve diligently from your heart and not get, you know, the right result come back to you. Anytime you serve, something really good is coming back to you. All right. So we say, please try and serve. And then we talked about surrounding yourself with the right people. All right. We say, okay. Surround yourself with the right people. Because if you want to be wise, then you have to get, you know, in the oh, wise, wise company. Yes. Get into the wise company. 
of course, we, we, we said that um, the evil, evil communication can corrupt what good manners. So you may just have good intention, you know, for your life. But the, I mean, the wrong, the wrong communication, I mean, the wrong group, you know, the wrong relationship, you know, might just, you know, get you, you know, on standstill. All right. All right. So today we want to say this. We also said build yourself confidence. We say do what? Build yourself confidence. Don't be timid. Don't be fearful. Don't be shaky. Anytime they invite you to give a speech, they invite you to do something, you are shaky, you are scared. That's because you are not prepared. So we said one of the things that can really, really make you to be self-confident is what is knowledge, information. If you take in the right information, you can show up anywhere and you can perform anywhere at any time. Okay, so today we want to start with this. We want to say avoid procrastination avoid what avoid delaying what you need to do today don't push it to tomorrow all right one of the challenges we are facing um uh, today is that some of the things that we we're supposed to have done yesterday we are struggling with doing them today because times change i'm telling you times change for instance if you needed to build a house you know yesterday you didn't build it i hope you know that your um your calculation your plan your your your, your evaluation yes mm -hmm. your evaluation would have what would have changed yes because your quantity surveyor who surveyed you know um, and whatever you need to do yesterday you know uh, prices of items were very normal you know yesterday mm -hmm. and then you told him don't worry i'll do it tomorrow you are in tomorrow today <laughs> is it not so mm -hmm. but prices have changed wow welcome to the world things are happening things are changing prices are hiking up you know and all that but we want to encourage you we want to say please don't waste any more time mm -hmm. don't delay any more move forward and you will make it mm -hmm. what do you say sir procrastination well, yeah I, i've always said it in this program yeah. procrastination mm -hmm. is the graveyard of every good <laughs> intention. intention so what you can do today mm. don't leave it and said i will do mm. it tomorrow, tomorrow because tomorrow may never come mm. and a man that that always procrastinate always make pro regret mm. not progress mm. he always make regret mm. oh so mm. i wanted to take my wife mm. out mm. Oh, I want to, I want to, I want to. What is your problem? Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Enough of this, I want to, I want to. Just do it. Just do it. Now, when you do it, you have already. Because problems are not to be kept. They are meant to be solved. Wow. Yeah. Or else they get really bad. Oh, yeah. Problems mm. are not to be kept. They are mm. meant to be solved. Solve, solve it now. Mm. Because if not, tomorrow what is just two naira mm, might become five, 30, naira. 30 naira you know we're just talking you know in the background before we started mm -hmm. you gave you know a case scenario you know uh, where uh, only yesterday we talked about the particular price yes. you know of diesel yes and then today you are going to negotiate for another, another, another price, yeah, another price. <laughs> yes because it's just that's just the way life is wow. i remember my father was saying the smith was too cost mm -hmm. as a uh, 700 naira that time. at that time from wow. it was 350 mm. moved to 700 mm. and at the time they were selling in 1000 somebody mm. was saying that things are gone up. up now it became 3000 somebody is still <laughs> shouting and somebody <laughs> went and to somebody four, is waiting five. yeah somebody is waiting for things to yes, come down you are waiting for it if you wait <laughs> you, if you, you wait that will come down. you will waste <laughs> so at every time move mm. At, at the time that thing is like that, just move. That's good. The only thing that is permanent is change. Mm, that's right. Is change. That's the only thing that every other thing is subject to change. To change. The only thing that is permanent it's in life itself. is change. You know that you were not like this yesterday, mm. and last month you were not like this, mm. and in another in another two years from now you will you not be, be like, like this. this. So stop basically. procrastinating. Mm. Start doing something. something, and just handle it. Don't postpone it just do it and if you can you find out that at the end of the day there are some people today that would have bought land i just remember yesterday a friend of mine invited me he's inviting me to apple then i remember many years ago precisely over 20 years ago when i used to go to that apple area yeah that place was bush no road those express was not there yeah and that guy had been there and now he has a very big pot of plot of land there now if he had run away and moved to Use too 
as at that time and say he want to stay where people where are. People are where today he cannot you know? today he will not be able to afford where he is right and now. that place is opened up and doing Why so well not? now yeah so the truth mm. of it is that don't leave it don't say i will do it tomorrow mm. buy that land now mm. buy that property now mm. do that business now stop postponing if you postpone you are going to be filled with complaint don't postpone just act now when you can just act now as you can and when you can mm. and one of the things you need is faith just believe okay believe that you can make it that's why we're here we're here to you know to charge you up we're here you know to push you we're here you know to stimulate something inside of you so that you can move forward so don't wait another minute okay go ahead and do that and we will see you at the top always all right we'll take the second one and this is find your purpose in life mm. you are not happy maybe you are not in the perfect will of god you know for your life you know for your marriage or for a lot of things for the job you are doing right now before you got that job who did you you know consult did you did you make some real you know consultations you know and so 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 if if you are not happy there it's possible that it's not the right job for mm -hmm. you all right that relationship if it's not if it's not the way you want it then maybe it's not the right one uh, i mean who did you consult how, how how did you get there yeah sometimes we feel you know that what we know is enough he, uh, you know maybe maybe you didn't get the right knowledge or maybe you didn't get the right knowledge enough mm. all right yeah no knowledge is wasted no knowledge is wasted so go ahead right now if you are not happy with what you're doing if you're not happy where you are i think you begin to go on a purpose you know finding journey all right mm. ask god you know pray about it okay read books ask yourself check look around there must be a better way to do what you are doing all right check very well you are blessed you are equipped you are equipped for life you are equipped for life maybe what the problem is that what the instrument you have the equipment that you have inside of you um, may, it maybe is a mismatch to what you are doing right now do you understand me for instance i say somebody who i mean who is so blessed you know to be an artist okay but because you just feel that uh, the market that is selling right now is medicine or the market that is selling right now is engineering or the market that is selling right now is law you know and all that and you want to just push your way into the no 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 there has to be a self what discovery look inward what can you do best what can you do i mean you go to sleep they wake you up and you stand up you know you can do that thing very well with enthusiasm you know with so much of interest with so much of joy ask god and you will he will show you the right thing to do you know today we have a lot of we have a lot of lawyer doctors what i mean is that uh, people who are supposed to be doctors but they are you know in the law profession you know sometimes i remember and there was some time in this country that uh, you know uh, we went to school then when we went to school it, it was like if if you were not going to study medicine or if you're not going to study engineering if you're not going to study law then these three things if you're not going to do them then you are out of place you know and a lot of people you know just got uh, you know career mismatched you know and things like that you know and all that but i i i, I think that sometimes our parents you know parents need to come into this very well yeah observe your children all right pray for them okay the god who created them you know talking about jesus remember that mary saw him and said what are you doing here and he said he said to her don't you know that i must mm -hmm. be about my father's business mm -hmm. he knew what, what to was. do. He knew, yes, yes. No. you know you know even the mother was wasn't really sure mm -hmm. you know so what do you say about that well the truth of it is that just like you said Parents need to have the Get really involved. Understanding. Yes, understanding. Now, if if you you will not allow the mistake of the past mm. to kill your present, mm. don't allow the mistake of the past. The mistake of your parents, you have right to correct it now. Yes. The mistake of your mother, you have right to correct, correct it now. You know, there's something I I wrote that I said. Realize it. If you want to find your life purpose, mm. admit it. Mm. Then the next thing you learn it learn it and forget about it 
those things you need to forget wow. about. You, please, can you go through it again? I, yeah, like that. I said, realize it. Realize it. All right. Admit, admit it. it and learn, it. learn it. And forget and those forget you those need to forget. forget. Wow. Because at at twenties, when mm. you are in your twenties, mm. it is your learning stage. stage. There's a young boy after church on Sunday came and met me that mm. he want to learn. I mm. say, how old are you? Say fifteen. Mm. I believe because he has always been hearing so many things from me. He came to me said. I yeah, want to learn. I just learn. finished school. Mm. Before I get manush, I want to learn something. Learn something I said, okay, what do you want to learn? He said, you want to work. Mm. You want to learn about telephone repair. So mm. I called one of the young men, go to where they repair phone mm. and uh, go and find out what it is. They came back mm. and they told me yesterday, I asked them to go back and negotiate and let that young man Start go and be yes, to learn. Yeah. Now, there are not many young men that way. Mm. Now, this one, he has been around and he has been hearing the things that will be sharing. Mm. That, see, if you really need to go far, you have to develop early. Mm. Start early. The journey that you want to go in life, because life is a journey. Mm. There's only right road that says, mm. in your 20s, learn. Mm. In, your 30s, mm. in, your t in your 30s, in your 30s, end. And because life is a long journey. It's a very long journey. Life is a long journey. Just imagine the remaining part of your life is your learning that determines your earning and that determines your journey. Your journey. If you don't learn, you have nothing to earn. And if you don't earn, the journey there's will be no rough. There's no movement. There's no progress. The journey will be rough because, rough you see, uh, every mm. one of us need to buy oil in our lamp. Mm. You want to live long, you need, the longer you stay, the more oil you, you need. need. Nobody owes you nothing. The more oil you need. Mm. And if you have enough oil, you'll be the call, you'll be called the wise one. Of course. But if you don't have oil and you have your lamp, you will be the foolish one. And once you are a fool, it's because you make a fool of yourself. Why? Because there's no self-development, mm. no self-improvement, and the journey is going to be hard. Because the way of a transgressor mm. is hard. So hardship, when it comes to the journey of life, is an acquisition of ignorance. No wow. excuse for failure. Mm. So you need to learn. Mm. So if you are in your 20s, young man, mm. learn. Mm. This is the time for you to learn. Not when you are in your 20s, you want to earn. Mm. What do you have to offer? Mm. So I, with that young man, I said, go and learn. Go so learn. in so learning now, before you know, before you get to his 30s, you will now be earning. earning. So you don't learn, you will earn. And the more, you, the more value you created, the more you increase. increase. It's very important that planning for success you will, if you don't if you don't uh, if you don't find your purpose in life life will not be interesting to you because oh. where there is no purpose abuse, abuse is inevitable, is inevitable. Yes. so when you have discover your purpose mm. pursue it stay there mm. you cannot be everything but you have to be something mm. because that one thing you do mm. will settle everything that's true one thing, just, you just one thing, one thing, and, and you take care of just everything. change everything. Yes, everything mm. you be you you will come mm. to a place where you cannot be a man that matters that mm. settle matters of life. Mm. That is what you do when you plan. You know, as you were talking, I remember when we went to school. I mean, college. You know, university. Yeah, some of us we were just waiting to finish and get the big white collar job. Mm. But I tell you, we had this couple of guys. Yeah, one or two guys. Who were going to town to do something in fact they were coming some of them will come to class from work but we didn't understand them mm. you know we could have we could have learned a trade you know yes time, school, yes. yes and it's good have, yeah it's good we could have learned maybe tailoring yes we could have learned uh, and have uh, a fashion have home it, right yes, now well, yes you know you know like we always say here education is not bad we're not against education here but we're saying that education or um, um university degree or that that opens you up to another level of learning mm. that's what you always say here yes that when you get your certificate after your first degree or after your master's mm -hmm. that just opens you up to what to a you know an informed word learning that yeah. means you can learn yeah but you can learn fast and you can move yeah it, you it know, makes fast. you like i, I wrote down here i said yes. look at the thing yes. i said that yeah i said learn mm. that education go mm. beyond having a degree, a degree. wow it go beyond yes. having a degree. Mm. If you have a man that is educated and is into slaughtering of cow, mm. 
Ah, you'll be shocked. It will be a good one. You'll be wow. shocked when you go to that place. You want to buy Very meat. Very neat place. Yes. If you go to a man that is well educated, educated. and informed, mm. is it of fishery? Mm. Go to that place. You will, even the you fish will, will be smiling. You will know that they will die. Has. The fish will die for <laughs> fear. You will see. It will not be queer, but it will deliver that same thing. Yes. So education introduces <laughs> you to your environment. Mm. Education does not make you rich. The most poorest people we have in this life are PhD holders. They will be talking and you see them like a failure. The reason is that much knowledge, once, once you bring much knowledge, you bring willingness to the body. More, mm. more knowledge bring mm. willingness, but application knowledge of bring knowledge prosperity. Bring, yes. So if you just acquire without applying, mm. so it is not, it's not, uh, it's not knowledge that is the, the it's not having it that the most. Yeah, the application, it, application, which is wisdom, yes, yeah, which is the wisdom. So mm. it's very important that you get education. Mm. In all you're getting, mm. get wisdom, get wisdom, get understanding. understanding. So it's not enough. So if you don't, if you are there, you must know for you to fulfill life purpose apply to learning learn there are, there are photographers today learn something mm. you know that's how i always tell my children go and learn something, something. once they are holiday i engage them yes. in other things that is not even concerning their area mm -hmm. you'll be shocked that tomorrow that might be what we give what them we just hang on let, me, let me let me let me say this to us many years ago i don't know if you know uh the chino peters yes yes she bought, us, yes. bought a house mm. seven million at that time that same time the owner of Zenith Bank started Zenith Bank at that time with the same amount of money. Wow. How many Zenith Bank do you have? Today? All over the country of How many China Peter Africa do you have? Mm. So it's different. Mm. It's different. It's it's understanding. understanding. You see, one has seven mm. and build a house. Seven 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 is a number. Olu Wachino. Then you shake your body. <laughs> <laughs> one had seven million and, and started invested the bank. it. And started the bank. And that is i call their name so that you can check mm. read it i read it mm. seven million seven 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 mm. uh -huh. so at the end of the what happened how many employment uh, uh, people that have been employed in these banks how many people the other mm. guy has employed in that house i went to look at the house those days mm. i was built with seven million i'm talking about about 20, mm. 25 years ago about 28 years ago Hmm. I went to look at the so house. So between the two of them, who is still around right now? Oh, no, well, <laughs> you can't tell. I mean, they are very obvious. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yes. it's, it's inform, inform mm. knowledge. Learn, mm. earn, and apply. You look at what area of life do you want to go? How do you, you have to die empty. This, this, this life is a journey. And now you are in this journey, you are not going to come down. So you will make it. You will, succeed, you will succeed and you will go forward, will go forward. and possess your possession. That's right. Well, I don't know if there's any other thing you want to share with us. All right, okay, so before we take the next one, I just want to just encourage you, please discover what, discover your purpose, okay? One of the things we're doing here right now is actually what we love to do, you know? Mm -hmm. We love to encourage you. We love to, you know, talk to you. We love to just, you know, um, make you have the right mindset towards life, you know, towards what you are doing. So, like I said earlier, if you are not happy with what you're doing right now you're not happy with the relationship you have right now think about it again if you do that you may just get an answer and then you will get a better living yeah all right then mm -hmm. so, all right so we'll take the next one and this says here plan for success because mm -hmm. he feels he who feels you know to plan has planned towards to fail already so plan for success okay plan for success he just said it now you know in your uh, your early 20s is your learning stage your early 30s is your earning stage and then after that time is your resting and you know your enjoyment and whatever That's stage. That's so you can plan it okay and then of course you know we have a long term you have we have short term all right you can plan for what this week you know we hold for you you can plan for what you know um, the next two months we hold for you Whichever way you want to do it, just do it in such a way that it is flexible for you, okay? Do it in such a way that it is, it is doable, you know, for you, all right? You plan it, you split it, and then please give it some action. We just said here that you can make it. Please go ahead and make it. Do something, all right? Don't just sit, you know, um, last time I, I said here, I said that a plan is, is nothing. A plan is what is nothing. 
but planning is what is everything mm -hmm. all right plan is a noun is a name of what you are what what you are thinking to do but planning is what is a verb so if you say if you have penned down that you want to build you know um a a um a duplex or right? you want to build a duplex fine no problem is on paper but when i find you you know somewhere you know at 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 uh, at a at a building material market mm -hmm. and i ask you what are you doing you say remember i told you i had a plan to build what a duplex now i am doing what i am planning to build that that duplex in other words you are in the making you are in the process mm -hmm. so start the process go and ask about you know uh, the prices of you know building materials you know uh, consult an architect you know and things like that so uh, you're, you can plan yes good it's, it's fine but do what work out your plan what we're saying is mm, do the talk okay yeah walk your talk mm. do it yeah but well, you know there's mm. the things that, that like, a lot of people don't know mm. is that when you have plan it does not mean you will do everything at all. that is yes that's why we say you can you can have yeah. a long a long term you yes. know plan yeah short term yeah. plan you need, just, just to, small you and to, small and small you know when you have that plan mm. it's in your head mm. you know that's the same pro problem a lot of people have about marriage they have the marriage in their head mm. but to explain it to the one they married becomes a problem. problem so they think that that person should know mm. oh are you not a woman and mm. so you what know that the father the father, yes. the father, father, the father, the father yes. did not raise her mm. as a wife mm. he raised her as, as a, a daughter. daughter so, so you are the one now yet that's how they call you groom mm. groom your bride mm. it's not your job to groom your mm. bride mm. the same thing you see everybody success explanation of success is their yeah, the own explanation is their definition is their definition of yes. success yes. and your definition is not my definition mm -hmm. to me my success might just be i just have a wife and two children mm. that's that's mm. all i, I yes. desire yes another person success might just be to become the president of nigeria mm. another one success might just be to be a counselor mm. so people's definition of success should not be your definition, definition of success, success. I always, I always say in this program that success mm. is a progressive realization of the goal that you have set for yourself. I have also said this, that success, your success is always under construction. Mm. Construct your own. Everybody has the right mm. to construct. That is that nobody will think for you. Mm. I wrote something that here. Mm. Live for your own success. Don't cut others idea of success mm. don't go for the idea of success, success. it's not what you, you that define, will make you yes, happy, happy at the end because we all have a have a different definition yes, of success have a, somebody mm. my success might not mm. be to be, come to yes. be on television mm. and just be smiling that mm. is success mm. it, it doesn't mind trekking from here to <laughs> anywhere but it's only just it's success it's just yes. to come on come tv and and, TV and, and, TV and, TV. and and truly when you give an opportunity you will see a happy person mm, yes somebody's success might just be to deal with criminals so they join the police mm. now any day he catches any day he's, he's happy he's, he's excited he's happy, he's happy mm. that able mm. to stop one mm. lawbreaker mm. other thing again is that as parents we must learn to discover what our children mm. want to do we don't impose on them we need to guide, them. guide them we need to help them to be able to make in the right choice inform decision yes. in so doing we will make our life and the people around us happy our educational system have not really helped us many times they give people the cause they don't want to study it does not matter how many that person make in jam but if he want to be a doctor you see the desire in him to be a doctor then instead of oh, him to study yes. for mm. four years mm. give him five years let him take and the other one here so that they can be yes. happy going to work. work. There's a lot of people today, they don't want to go to work. That's different between us and other countries. Other countries, civilized nation, we call them. What made them civilized? They realize. So they come to civilization. Until you realize, you will not be no civilized. Civilization. You will be compromising and become under compromise. You will not have the best. Let's bring out the best in our life by realizing so that we can come to realization and implement what people want what the people what is desire of that person somebody say i want to be a police or oh, you need five credits and the person have four then say okay you want to do instead of you to do it for for one year you are going to do it for one year and six months because we want to make sure mm. you understand you that understand you help and i tell you something everybody will be happy listen like i'm here now 
You don't need to you don't need to pay me all the money in the world for me to come. <laughs> no matter where I am, I wake up in the morning, it's in my program. Yeah. In fact, if there is thing that will make me make more money and want to interfere with this time, I will say no. Why? Because this it is, makes you this, gives you more joy. You give me for female. Yeah. And life is all about for female. Now a lot of people go to work, they make more money and they are not for free. So some of them are losing their, their family, losing their children, and are not happy to go to work. No wonder Friday is the most mm. most places. A lot of people don't even people want to celebrate go there. it. They celebrate. Yeah. Thank God it's, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> Listen to me. The first assignment God gave to us was work. And I want to tell you something. Get down to work because you cannot work until you work it. Until you see you again in our next edition. This is Simon and Simon. I am Brother Kalise. We love you. We love you. Make it work by working it. You can make it. God bless Congratulations. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.